diseases of banana so now we will see the list of important diseases in banana so scientific name of banana is musa species and my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so coming to the list of important diseases in banana these are the list of important diseases so first one is panama wilt otherwise called as fusarium wilt which is caused by fusarium oxysporum pharma species cubens and cicatoca leaf spot mycosporilla musicola anthragnos gliosporium musarum frickill leaf spot philostigma musarum cigar in rat caused by verticillium theobrome or trachisperia factigena and moco wilt ralstone solanaceae banana bunch top banana bunch top virus or musa virus 1 and infectious chlorosis which is caused by cucumber mosaic virus now we will see in detail about one by one the first one is panama wilt disease which is caused by fusarium oxysporum pharma species cubensis so coming to the economical importance so the disease was first reported in the uh, panama area uh, uh, the area name is panama area that's why it is called as panama disease or fusarium wilt it's also called panama wilt is otherwise also called as fusarium wilt disease so it was first reported in panama area so which is a very serious outbreaks in uh, uh, banana growing areas of uh, panama so so coming to uh, you know the mode of uh, plant pathogen that enters into the plants th through uh, roots and wounds so here uh, the severity of the wilt disease or panama wilt disease can be associated with the nematodes so if this if this disease is combined with the nematode the infection and severity will be very more and, and the disease will be very severe if it is infected with the nematodes so may, normally this disease spread through infected suckers because uh, you know suckers are the planting materials are the propagating materials of banana so this uh, uh, fungus is mainly transmitted through uh, infect uh, sorry uh, you know infected suckers so coming to the symptoms related to fusarium wilt or banana wilt uh, the first uh, most diagnostic symptoms are the important symptom is so yellowing of leaves can be seen here all the leaves are yellowing and they get erect i mean uh, sorry they uh, they droop out or fall down from the infected plants but the heart leaf remains erect understand i mean uh, remains green heart leaf if you see the heart leaf heart leaf remains green and the remaining all the leaves are yellow in color and droop out and uh, you know leaves are break down and hang down from the pseudo stem we can see the breakdown of leaves and hang down from the pseudo stem so all the leaves are yellow in color and break down and hang down from the pseudo stem except the heart leaf that is all remains green and erect if we cut open the stem if we see if we cut open the stem brown color discoloration or brown color vascular discoloration of the pseudo stem can be seen or vascular bundles can be seen here in later stages in some cases also we can see the black color vascular discoloration also can be seen and but the brown color discoloration is very common and it also produce some gummy ooze out like substance from the infected uh, stems or infected uh, you know uh, vascular bundles so due to this uh, and and this disease will be very severe and as we discussed uh, earlier so this disease will be very severe when it is associated with the nematodes and reddening of uh, uh, you know internodes also can be seen along with the mycelial growth also can be observed so it produces a rotten fish like appearance it produces a rotten fish like appearance uh, due to the production of uh, i think trimethyl i mean due to the production of trimethyl amyl uh, due to that uh, uh, it produces rot rotten fish like uh, uh, smell and uh, it is one of the very very important diseases in uh, banana so coming to the mode of spread and survival the pathogen uh, uh, survives in uh, soil as chlamydospores for a longer period and the fungus also can be spread through irrigation water as well as uh, uh, as as we discussed earlier that it can also spread through infected cells uh, sets also so coming to the management aspects poon are uh, resistant variety for this uh, panama wilt disease so cultivating of poon uh, varieties can give uh, a little bit relief along with rastal and moondan are uh, susceptible varieties so, so be, it's a better uh, to not cultivate rastal and moondan varieties for some particular period of time and the capsule application of carbon dizim at the rate of 40 mg per capsule per tree can be uh, recommended that can be very effective against this uh, fusarium wilt disease and uh, uh, this capsule can be applied as a comb injection at the rate of uh, 10 cm depth and a hole can be made at uh, 45 degree angle 
uh, and the second application of uh, a second application can be given uh, a month later and adopt a com injection at the rate of 3 ml at the rate of uh, 2 percent carbon dizim can be injected into whole i mean actually 2 percent of carbon dizim can actually uh, uh, used for this uh, com injections or rf engine also can be used and along with the floating of infected plants can raise uh, uh, can also uh, uh, helpful for raising up paddy uh, crop season can suppress this uh, pathogen so coming to the next one cigatoka leaf spot which is caused by cercospora muse and previously called as mycosporella musicola so coming to the symptoms you can clearly see yellowing of leaves can be clearly seen here along with yellowing of leaves we can we can see the elongated spots we can see this elongated spots here yellowing of leaves can be seen along with the elongated spots so these spots are surrounded by a yellow halo we can clearly see elongated spots yellowing of leaves along with the elongated spots and yellowing of uh, uh, the particular uh, halo can be seen normally black color or brown color specks or fructifications can be seen I mean spots so rapid dying and defoliation of leaves also can be observed in later stages of crop growth so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, removal of infected leaves i mean uh, infected leaves and along with uh, uh, you know uh, spraying of uh, copper oxychloride at the rate of 2 kg or carbonism 500 g or mancozib 1.25 kg or captan 1.25 kg or zerum 1.25 kg per month can control the disease anyone can be recommended don't uh, go with all the fungicides or whatever that i recommended i mean uh, uh, go with any one of this fungicide and uh, and the application of tridomar for the rate of 0.1% or carbonism 0.1% combination uh, may be helpful in uh, 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 reducing this disease incidence and the next one is anthrocnose uh, banana anthrocnose which is caused by gliosporium misarum and coming to the uh, you know symptoms we can clearly see here Oh, black color completely black color enlarged black color spots along with uh, we can see here a small white color growth also can be seen so enlarged black color spots or fungal masses can be this is this white color appearance or a, a, a growth of fungal masses so normally elongated black spots can be seen on the skin of a banana fruit and the entire fruit stalk and bud get affected by this anthrocnose disease the name itself indicates anthrocnose so a black color spots are uh, you know uh, you know uh, extended spots can be clearly seen here and the symptoms can observe can be appeared in uh, both leaves and as well as fruits we can see the same black color discolorations uh, uh, can be clearly seen along with the masses of uh, mycelia also can be developed on the fruits i mean uh, the black color infected area from infected areas so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, spraying of uh, copper oxychloride 0 0.25 percent uh, or bodomiture 1 percent can check this disease so coming to the frickle leaf spot or black spot which is caused by philostichna misarum and uh, coming to the uh, symptoms we can clearly see where minute black color spots can be clearly seen here minute black color spots can be uh, small small black color spots can be clearly seen on leaves and as well as fruits also here the spots are later turned into brown color or dark brown color initially they were minute black later they converted into brown color or dark brown in color so majorly we can observe the symptoms on the upper surface of leaf only you can in in frickle leaf spot or black spot the name itself indicates small black spots can appear on the upper surface of leaves and yellowing will be very very common entire leaf is uh, converted into yellow uh, uh, i mean uh, yellow uh, i mean entire uh, leaf is uh, uh, look like to yellow in color and uh, you know uh, on the fruits the pathogen is confined to only the skin areas if it is appears to the uh, fruits only uh, it can only infect the skin only there is no effect to the pulp which is present inside so coming to the pathogen the pathogen produce globo shaped pycnia so each pycnidium consists of a numerous hyaline or oval shaped septed pycnidiospores hope you guys uh, had seen about this all asexual fruiting bodies pycnidium sporodachium acerola cinema all those things in a uh, uh, principles of plant pathology itself if you are not uh, uh, well aware of it uh, please go through our channel so we already did a many videos on uh, uh, principles of plant pathology uh, for each and every uh, you know uh, basic aspects can be clearly described there you guys go and check it out coming to the management aspects so spraying of copper oxychloride at the rate of 0.25 percent or bodomiture one percent can help to reduce the incidence of this frickly spot
So coming to the next disease, cigar end rot, which is caused by verticillium theobromae. So the end of the fruits can be rotted and look like to cigar rotting or cigar end rot. That's why they named it as cigar end rot. See, if if you guys have aware of you know uh, at the end of the cigarette, if you see the cigarette at the end of the cigarette, the smoke, I mean the uh, the ash uh, ash like substance can be clearly observed at the end of the cigarette. So that's why they named it as end rots like a cigarette end rots like a cigarette that's why it named a cigar end rot we can see here ending of the fruits especially on the lower region can be rotted like a cigarette that's why it's named as cigar end rot so the black necrosis also can be seen here black necrosis along with the white color uh, uh, powdery uh, uh, masses or ashy masses can also be seen and the black necrosis also can be seen in the perianth region as well as uh, uh, you know uh, banana fingers especially on the lower regions can be clearly observed here so coming to the management aspects uh, removal of uh, pistil or perianth by hand at 8 to 10 days before the bunch formation it will be very laborious process because we can't able to uh, remove the, all the pistils and perianth of each and every banana fruit because if each you know uh, let us consider a single banana plant produce an average of 2 to 300 banana so uh, let's imagine it's a very laborious process even though it's one of the management practice, uh, practice and that is, that is removal of perianth and the pistils at 8 to 10 days uh, uh, before bunch formation and spraying with uh, dithane that is uh, M45 mancozib, uh, mancozib at the rate of uh, uh, mancozib 0.1% uh, or uh, topsin uh, M0.1% can control the disease effectively and minimizing the brushing promote cooling of 14 degrees centigrade and the proper sanitation and handling facilities can also uh, reduce the incidence of disease at cold storage particularly. So coming to the next disease which is caused by I mean mocovilt mocovilt disease which is caused by pseudomonas solanaceae it is a bacterial pathogen we can clearly observe on the right side it's a very common yellowing will be very common in banana if you take banana most of the disease uh, in most of the disease yellowing will be very very common so along with a rapid wilting and collapse of the leaves are the main symptoms here in the mocovilt the name itself indicates wilt so rapid dying or rapid collapse and death of leaves can be clearly seen yellowing and rapid dying and death of leaves can be seen if we see the vascular bundles if we cut open the vascular bundles we can see this white color gummy ooze out can be clearly seen so along with the discoloration of the vascular bundles also can be seen that's a secondary but the major uh, issue is we can see this gummy ooze out or yellow color gummy ooze out or uh, yellowish color gummy ooze out can be produced from the uh, vascular bundles and blackening of the suckers and discoloration of the fruits and the reddening of the vascular bundles also can be observed in later stages and here in the sudden rapid death of or wilting of leaves and as well as uh, you know uh, gummy ooze out or yellow color gummy ooze out is the production uh, uh, you know uh, is the characteristic symptom of mocovilt so coming to the pathogen the pseudomonas is a gram negative bacilli bacteria uh, which are motile with folar flagella it is an obligate uh, obligate aerobic pathogen so coming to the management aspects uh, eradicate the infected plants and expose the soil to the direct sunlight so the using of a cleaning plant material and following of crop crop rotation disinfect i mean use of a disinfected crop implements along with the providing a good drainage facilities can manage the disease so coming to the next one banana bunchy top which is caused by banana bunchy top virus or musa virus one it's a very 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 important disease and here I can uh, I can tell you what are all the different types of symptoms of banana bunch it up in earlier PowerPoint presentation especially in the field crops uh, in one uh, PowerPoint presentation that I had told you uh, in when the banana crop kill comes that I will explain you in detail about the bunch it up characters and their uh, symptoms now we will see in detail about bunch it up uh, symptoms here the first and foremost symptom is stunting of plants we can see here normally banana plant uh, grows at a uh, height of three to four meters so minimum 2 to 3 meters can be very common and of 3 to 4 meters sometimes 5 meters also it goes but if you see the banana bunch it of infected plants it doesn't goes it doesn't go more than uh, uh, half meter or one meter it doesn't go more than one meter so the the mainly stunting extremely stunted the stunting of plants can be seen the first symptom the second symptom is length of the 
uh, i mean a leaf or the you know width of the leaf can be clearly we can see and the length and width of the leaf is reduced and yellowing of leaves also can be seen yellowing of leaves and length and width of the leaf can be reduced so here uh, they like bunchy like appearance or you know bushy crowded like appearance of the leaves can be seen they can uh, they are uh, i mean uh, especially in this uh, region a uh, formation region so the infected plants produce uh, shooting uh, this is mainly due to this infection i mean white shooting like appearance i mean white shooting uh, this is mainly due to this uh, banana uh, bunchetta virus and uh, uh, it can uh, you know uh, dark brown bands of green tissues i mean green alternate green and yellow patches can be seen along with uh, as infection can also seen in veins leaves and petioles also we can see so this banana bunchetta virus is a circular single stranded dna virus and uh, uh, coming to the management aspects uh, before going to management aspects we can see this is a very 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 important one this disease is transmitted primarily transmitted by infected suckers and the secondary spread is involved by a vector that is aphid vector pentalonia nigro nervosa this question every year this question will definitely have a space in each and every question paper it's a very 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 important question banana bunchetta virus is transmitted by aphids that is black aphid if you want to tell in detail or in depth that is a black aphid pentalonia nigro nervosa is a very 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 important this is the black aphid pentalonia nigro nervosa that can transmit the banana bunchetta virus and managing uh, related to managing aspects uh, better to select the healthy suckers for propagation and spraying of a uh, dimito 8 500 ml or monocrotovus 250 ml per hectare can control the vector because if we control the vector automatically the virus can be controlled and also destroying of in situ uh, infected plants at the rate of spraying uh, a weed side or uh, herbicide 2 4 at the rate of 4 ml that can be you know actually 50 grams can be dispensed in 400 ml of water and we can spray it on the i, I mean uh, destroyed plants so that that also one of the uh, management practice so coming to the questions related to ars or net uh, the banana crop will be very very important definitely there will be a great chance of asking questions from this especially this banana bunchetta virus which is transmitted by so this type of questions will be definitely there as i as i told you earlier that uh, this banana bunchetta virus will always have uh, you know this question is always having this separate special each and every exam so this banana bunchetta virus is transmitted by the uh aphid species especially black aphid which is a uh, pentalonia uh, nigro nervosa and then uh, fusarium wilt why it is uh, named as a panama wilt because it was first reported in the area of panama that was there in uh, sri lanka so that's why it's named as a panama wilt disease because it was first reported from that particular place and then along with uh, on the symptoms of the diseases along with you know casal organisms are very very important uh, most of the times uh, we can expect casal organisms from banana and uh, as i told you then each and every single disease so make sure at least you guys have to learn that casal organisms all casal organisms from the banana so this is about banana